The question for me in the months prior to the Commonwealth Government announcing the intervention was where was the Northern Territory Government's response to the Little Children a Sacred report? We waited and we waited and we waited for a response and there was nothing. It wasn't published. You understand that it, it, the report wasn't published. It was, I think, um, I think you said um, you couldn't find a printer for the report. And then there was the debate on um, um, Late Night Live and, you know, that was some months afterwards and we were still waiting for a comment from you. I was terribly worried that all of those matters that had been um, brought out um, much earlier by the public prosecutor in Alice Springs, Nanette Rogers, um, many Aboriginal women, um, and then finally by the Little Children of Sacred Report, were um, during this long period, it was over a two year period, you understand, were being politicised um, by the media, by the commentariat, to the extent that people no longer believed what Nanette Rogers and, the, and Rex Wild QC and Pat Anderson were saying. Those of us who'd worked in these communities knew about it well enough to know that nobody was taking the problem seriously. And um, I was not surprised when the intervention um, was finally announced. And actually, I don't believe that it was an entirely cynical exercise because I met with um, Mal Bruff, the then Minister for Indigenous Affairs, and I believe, and I believe that he was absolutely sincere in his goals, and he remained so even after he lost office. And you know, he has his admirers in the Aboriginal communities because what Aboriginal communities desire more than anything else is law and order, a peaceful night's sleep, safety for the children, safety for women. And he was very serious about that. And I think there was certainly an element of political brinksmanship um, in that um, pre-federal election period but, you know, there was much more to it than that. Just to keep it focused on something like the Little Children of Sacred Report, the Little Children of Sacred Report, um, which I've found that many people haven't actually read, yeah. um, which, you know, everyone has views but, but hadn't actually read it, one of the things that they said was there were two critical components in, in tackling child abuse, which they said was small in numbers of perpetrators across the Territory, certainly not every, er every community, and made that point very clearly, and said that there had been improvements in the last 15 years. So that's just quoting the report. Um, alcohol and education were the two things that they focused on in terms of what needed more resources. Said that the Territory had been putting significant more energy into tackling those issues, but a lot more needed to be done. So that was the outcome of the Little Children of Sacred Report which we responded to in a much more significant way in terms of energy and dollars than any other state government did, and more quickly. So just to give a bit of perspective on that.